Trump's man accused of playing an ISIS-inspired attack was back in federal court today. The federal government says that Alexander Chikola was planning an attack on an unspecified college. He's facing a firearm possession and assault charge, but no terrorism charge. Tori Wells was in the courtroom when Chikola spoke after his arraignment. When this brief appearance was through, Alexander Chikolo turned around to his mother and his stepfather and said, I love you. Thanks for standing by me. They sat behind him as he was arraigned on the charges laid out in this indictment. He pled not guilty to both. These are the guns the federal government says Alexander Chikolo had when police arrested him earlier this month. The government says he took possession of those firearms as part of an ISIS-inspired attack plot from a source working with the FBI. Today, Chocolo pled not guilty to the firearm possession charge and an assault charge. Prosecutors say he stabbed a nurse in the head with a pen when she was doing a routine exam following his arrest. Or physically fight. The government has also released this tape of Chocolo speaking with investigators after his arrest, his face blocked out by the federal government. In this tape, he expresses sympathy for ISIS. Despite the allegations the government has made, Jacolo is not charged with terrorism. I know it's possible. Uh, I know that they're looking into uh, additional charges. Whether they're there or not uh, is something the government's going to have to determine. Jacolo's defense attorney, David Hoos, says he has few details about the government's case. In the coming weeks, he expects to learn more about the allegations against Jacolo. I expect that the government will begin to turn over discovery materials and uh, allow me to learn a little bit more about exactly what they're accusing Mr. Chicolo of. Who's also revealed that Chicolo is in 23-hour confinement, but is holding up okay. I think anyone who is accused of these kind of charges uh, is uh, viewed uh, it, with, with a high level of security. Um, he is uh, confined to his cell 23 hours a day. It's difficult for anyone. We did ask the federal government if there could be further charges in this case. A spokesperson said they cannot comment. The next step in all of this is a conference in September. In Springfield, Tori Wells, CBS 6 News.